This is another daily recap for Tuesday, November 7, 2023. You're looking at a one-minute chart of the SPY, or SPIDERS, which tracks the S&P 500 index. Everything between the two vertical dotted lines is Tuesday's activities in the SPIDERS. The three horizontal lines are the levels that were identified and calculated before the market opened this morning, and these were the levels that produced trades today. These daily levels in the SPIDERS are calculated every morning, and they serve as the basis for activating trades in the E-mini futures, or the ES. Let's take a closer look and see how today's levels played out. So no trade was valid to trigger any positions in the ES until after a certain point in the trading day. That point came into play as the spiders came back up into 435.57 right before 10 a.m. So a resting order was keyed in to trigger to go short with two E-mini contracts if the spiders came up into the 435.57 level. They did, and as you can see, price did not react sharply at this level as was the intent. The spiders did not come down nearly far enough to reach the profit target base, profit target for a base hit, but instead they sliced up through the level and continued higher. So since there was this other level up here higher that the spiders were heading toward, there wasn't enough time to wait for the signal needed to prompt a reversal on this first trade. So per the strategy that I use, this first trade became a fumble and was stopped out at the same time and price when the next level was reached. So this means that the two ES contracts that were sold earlier down here were closed out at a loss an additional two contracts were sold short all at this 435.94 level. So this 435.94 level was in fact the interim destination where the spiders found sufficient resistance to provide a base hit. And the second trade was stopped out within a few minutes and the gain on the second trade helped wash out some of the loss of the fumble on the first trade. This third level that hit was at 437.04, not necessarily easy to see on this one minute chart, but there was every indication for about an hour that this trade was in fact going to work out because there was a line up in the sand around 437.39 that the spiders needed to be above and close above on certain candles before this trade would be considered a fumble. But for over an hour, that did not happen. Instead, finally, price came back down, as was the original design, to about right here for another base hit. So let's take a look at the tracking log to see how today's levels translated into profit. This was the first fumble trade that I've covered since I started making these recap videos. Here you can see the level highlighted in purple is the one that resulted in a fumble and a loss of almost four points. But the next two levels worked as planned, it produced two base hits, and the day ended in the green. And you can see here the potential profits uh, per, depending on how many numbers of ES contracts were traded, and this is what you could have expected to make. Hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.